Hey fish friends, Zenzo with Tozawa Tanks, and today I wanna to talk about aquarium snails. Lots of different reasons why people have snails, so we'll kind of go over the good, the bad, and I guess kind of the ugly. When it comes to aquarium snails, there are a lot of different types of snails. Bladder or pest snails, pond snails, ram's horn snails, Malaysian trumpet snails, nerite snails, apple snails, trapdoor snails, mystery snails, rabbit snails, even snails that eat other snails like assassin snails. And I'm sure there are other snails out there that I've forgotten. Some people have them in their crams because they purposely put them in, which I've done many times. There are times when people have snails in their crams where it just, you know, there were eggs on a plant leaf and you put that plant in there and then the snails hatched. Or it could be that you actually went out and bought a snail as a pet and that cool, beautiful mystery snail or a rabbit snail is your shelled wet pet. A lot of people say that they don't want snails in their aquariums because they eat plants. And the fact is they do not eat healthy plants. So for the most part, snails are going to leave the plants alone unless there's some specific reason or some specific plant or something for the most part, right? So they're gonna go after anything that's dying, decaying, falling off, old stems, things like that. So if you have a planted aquarium, there's nothing wrong with having aquarium snails. In fact, Oliver Knott, who's a world famous, world renowned aquascaper who studied with Takashi Amano and does amazing things in Europe and has given presentations, he actually had shared in a recent presentation that when they were setting up an aquarium that was going to be for a competition that was aquascaped with plants in there they put like 200 snails in the aquarium to be the cleanup crew to go after the algae detritus and anything that was in that tank that they couldn't see and wipe down they put the snails in there to take care of all of it and then before the competition because it's going to be like on camera and pictures and things like that they removed all the snails because they didn't want them in there anyway just so you know Plants, snails, they're fine. One of the things that I think about snails is they're natural. It's a natural thing to have a snail in your aquarium. And even though these aquariums that we keep, these little glass or acrylic ecosystems are not nature, but still we can take a lot of those natural things that happen in the environment out there and recreate that in the aquarium. And snails are part of that. Snails are part of the ecosystem and they do play an important role. Now, why I like snails is because they are an excellent cleanup crew. So that could be algae. They're also really good at eating anything else in the aquarium that's not desirable. So that could be uneaten fish food, which can break down and foul your aquarium, cause ammonia spikes. It could be fish waste. It could be a dead fish. So let's talk about a dead fish. Now, if you have a lot of aquarium snails that are part of your cleanup crew, when that fish dies, they will go and eat that fish, turn it into snail waste, which is very small and broken down, and the tank remains healthy. Same thing can be done for fish waste. And what the snails will do is the snails will actually eat the fish waste. They'll break it down further. They'll also do things like helping to keep your plants clean, like algae off of plants, you know, any dead or dying plant matter in there. They're just a really good cleanup crew. There's also other snails like Malaysian trumpet snails that do a good job of cleaning your substrate. So if you have something that's in inside the gravel or your sand or whatever it may be, your Malaysian trumpet snails go and they burrow into the substrate. They can eat anything in there. And they also kind of help to keep the substrate churned and moving around without having a gravel vac as they're going in and out of that all day or all night. Another reason why I like to have aquarium snails is they are good food for some fish. So my Oscars used to eat them if I give them specific kind of snails to eat. Also things like puffers. So I like to keep a couple different types of puffers and puffers need to have snails in their diet or something in their diet that's going to be hard for them to file down their beak or their teeth. If you don't have hard foods for them to eat, the teeth will continue to grow and they won't be able to eat anymore and they'll pass. So having snails is a good thing. Not only does it have things like calcium and stuff like that that's good for the fish, but also the fact that there's a hard shell is good to file the teeth down on the puffer and also add some enrichment for certain fish that might like to hunt and eat live snails. So now let's talk about why snails might be bad. If you are a breeder and you have a very specific reason to not have snails in your aquarium, that makes total sense. So I, I, I could say that's kind of a more specific case, um, but there are those people out there that don't like snails for that reason. Now, another reason why some people may not want to have snails in their aquarium is because of things like photos or video. So for example, with my aquariums, I pretty much have snails 
in every tank, except for one tank where if I see a snail, I'll crush it and I don't want them in there and that's my shrimp tank upstairs. And the reason why I don't have them in there is because that is a tank that I use for product photography for work. Sometimes if you have a lot of snails in your tank, you don't want to have that snail on the glass that messes up your shot. You'll have to go in there and move the snail out of the way to get the shot. And But that's again, a very small reason to not have snails in your aquarium. But that is a reason is there's the aesthetic, right? There's the aesthetic of not wanting them in the shot or in the photo. And that would be a reason to keep them out. Now, another thing that's kind of an aesthetic thing about why some snails, you may not want to have some snails in your aquarium are things like snail eggs. So for example, I keep nearite snails and nearite snails are very good algae eaters. They're a great cleanup crew for keeping algae off the aquarium. But if you have a female in there, the female will lay eggs on all of the hard surfaces in your aquarium. And that can really, really be a pain to have to clean off. If you do have a nearite snail and it is a female, there's a high probability that there's gonna be some eggs laid in there that are unsightly. Now, the eggs won't hatch because they need a whole system of uh, brackish and salt water, then back to fresh water for them to be viable. Um, so you'd have to have that kind of salty setup for them. But uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, people don't like looking at the nearite snail eggs and that can be a bad thing. So I covered the good, I guess we talked about the bad, and what about the ugly? And as I was thinking about this, I think the only thing that's kind of like, ugh, about snails is when a snail dies. In my opinion, there's not much worse that smells in this world than a dead, rotting snail, especially if you have a large snail. And even if you go and don't touch the snail and just the shell, your fingers will smell for hours. You can wash it in soap and bleach and everything. I've scrubbed them and you just still have that smell of a dead snail on your hands and it's really disgusting. So that would be the ugly. And if you have an excess of snails, what do you do? How do you get rid of them? So you can use things like a snail trap. You can use things like a snail catcher. Let me get one. So this is a snail catcher and basically what it is, it's a, a little wheel that uh, has this little catch area and you just slide this up the glass and it will all the snails that it gets caught in the wheel just get caught in this thing so yeah you could do things like taking like a piece of zucchini or you know boil some zucchini or a cute or you know some kind of vegetable and put it in the aquarium let all the snails get on it and then just pick up that whole piece of cooked vegetable with all the snails on it you can toss that otherwise you can get things like assassin snails that will go after and eat snails but that takes a long time you could do things like loaches if you're trying to get rid of them or the easiest thing to do is just feed less so if you have a lot of snails in your aquarium and they're getting out of control just put less food in there and eventually over time the population will dwindle because you're not feeding the snails you're just feeding the fish let me know down below in the comments where you land on the snail spectrum do you like them do you tolerate them do you hate them are you somewhere in between and i did make another video a while ago i'll put a link to that up here dean and i were talking about why we like or, or, or don't like snails so that's kind of a fun video um, but anyway yeah let me know down below in the comments what you like about them what you don't like about them what kind of snails you keep and anything else that i might have missed in this video as always thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and all that good stuff and before you go check out this video right here